This is going to be a CSS tutorial on how to create hover over cursor effects on a web page. Let me jump over to my browser and show you what I'm talking about here. This is a little web page that I created here and it has an effect if I move my mouse cursor over one of these boxes the cursor will change. If I move it over this first box here the cursor changes to crosshairs. If I move my cursor over the second box, it changes to a help cursor. The third box, it changes to a progress cursor. The uh, fourth box, it will change to a uh, not allowed cursor. This box down here changes to a all scroll cursor. Box seven here changes to a text cursor. Box six will change to a pointer cursor. In box 7, we'll change to a zoom in cursor. You can also do this. I've set up this first box here. If I move my mouse cursor over the box, it will change to crosshairs. If I move my mouse cursor over the text, the cursor once again changes to a hand cursor. You can do it on just text. You can do it on uh, div boxes, text, anything you would like. This effect is very easy to do. It's basically one line of code. Uh, I will be using VS Code and the Google Chrome web browser for this. Let me jump over to VS Code and show you how to do this. Okay, I am on VS Code now. I'm on my HTML document here. I have removed the cursor effect. Uh, all I have on my HTML document, I have those boxes set up and I have text inside of each of the boxes. I have box one, box two. To add the uh, cursor effect, I've also removed it from my uh, CSS sheet here. All I have on my CSS sheet is I have the boxes set up and designed. If I jump back over to my web page, you can see as I move my mouse cursor over these boxes, my mouse cursor is not changing. I've removed the effect. I will place down in the description my HTML and my CSS files that you're free to download. You can take a look at them. I'm going to jump back over to VS Code and I'm going to add those effects back in. The way I did that, each one of my boxes, to design my boxes, I put a class of box on each one of my boxes. So I've already got a class. You can, uh, you can do the cursor effect on just the text itself if you want are on the on the entire box. I'm going to do it on my entire box. On the first box here, I'm going to place my mouse cursor just past that second double quotation on box. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to create an ID. ID equals double quotations. Between those double quotations, I'm just going to call it box one. Now I'm going to go down to my second box here. I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after the double quotation on box, the second double quotation. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to create an ID here also. ID equals double quotations. I'm going to put box two. Then I'm going to go down to the third box here. I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after the second double quotation on box. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to do ID equals double quotations. Between those double quotations, I'm going to call this one box three, and so on. I can continue on with the rest of these boxes. I'm going to stop right there for now. I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go down to Save. Then I'm going to jump over to my CSS style sheet. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after that last bracket there. I'm going to hit Enter twice. And I'm going to call on my uh, first ID. That would be the pound symbol and then box one. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to make my brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my brackets. I'm going to call on cursor colon. I'm going to make a space. In my first one, I'm going to change the cursor to crosshairs crosshair, semicolon. 
I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after that last bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to do the pound symbol. And I'm going to call on my uh, box 2 ID. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to make my brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my brackets. I'm going to type cursor, colon, space. And I want this one to be a help cursor. I'm going to type help, semicolon. I'm going to scroll up a little. I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after that last bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice. And I'm going to call on my uh, box 3 ID. I'm going to do the pound symbol, box 3, space, my curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets. I'm going to type cursor, colon, space. And I'm going to make this one a progress cursor. Progress semicolon. Now I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to save what I have so far. File, down to Save. I'm going to click on Save All to make sure everything is saved. I'm going to jump over to my browser now. I'm going to refresh. Now when I place my mouse cursor over that first box, it's going to change to crosshairs. You can see there it changed to crosshairs. When I place the mouse cursor over that second box, it's going to change to a help cursor. You can see it changed to a help cursor. The third box, my cursor is going to change to a progress cursor. Now, like I said, you could, uh, for this fourth box, I'm going to, instead of changing the uh, cursor on the box itself, I'm just going to change it on the uh, text. I'm going to jump over to VS Code. I'm going to go back to my HTML document, and for the fourth box, for the text, to change the text, I'm going to have to put a class or an ID in the H1 tag here, the opening H1 tag. I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after the one. I'm going to do a space. I'm going to add a class here. Class equals double quotations, and I'm just going to call this class line one. I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to save this. File, Save. Now I'm going to jump back over to my CSS style sheet. I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after that last bracket there. I'm going to hit Enter twice, and I'm going to do a period, Line 1, to call on my Line 1 class. I'm going to do a space. I'm going to create my curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets. And I'm going to do a cursor, colon, space. And I'm going to make a not allowed cursor. Not, dash, allowed. I'm going to add my semicolon. I'm going to go up to file and down to save. I'm going to jump back over to my web page. I'm going to hit refresh. Now when I put my mouse cursor over the box, it does nothing. But when I place it over that text, it changes to a not allowed symbol. I will also put down in the description the uh, MDM website here, which lists all kinds of cursors that you can use. I'll put this down in the description. The link to this web page and it gives you a variety of different cursor styles you could use. There's a whole lot of them here. But that is how you add a cursor effect to a web page using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching.